Hello guys and what's up? Welcome back. We're watching Fire Force Season 2 Episode 11. And in last week's episode, we pretty much concluded the whole Oasis thing and they came back and now they're questioning. Uh, Shinra and Victor are like questioning now what the Soul Temple might actually know if there's any secrets being kept um, because of the inconsistency in the story known to how the Cataclysm concluded, I guess, or like how basically the Empire came about. Um, they're starting to wonder like what's going on with Amaterasu, like there's someone in there now and it's just a pillar and stuff like that. So they're starting to question things and whatnot, but we did come back from that journey. So I'm not sure if this is going to be like a chill episode or if everything is going to pretty much stay on the slate that it is and we're going to keep proceeding with the mystery and finding out. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the episode and yeah. Mm-hmm. Possible? So it's actually... This is so sketchy because it's unfortunate because this could really, from what I understand, the pillars and the tabernacles can actually really benefit the world that's been destroyed. It seems like it can actually, if used correctly, uh, regenerate the world and have it prosper and become better back to the state it was in or whatnot. But it seems like even that would still have to be at the sacrifice of the pillars. So it's like... Either way, it's like, is it, oh my god, it's like if the pillars were to do that and make the world prosper and become healthy again, would that actually be like bad, like that they sacrifice these people to do that? Like, damn, oh, I do that sometimes, the leg thing, I do that. <laughs> What, 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 what? Oh. Oh my god. Your cup literally does not have to be like that. They'll have to silence y'all. Why do I feel like Joker's just gonna pop up? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> do you mean the fire force or like you and your little two man team, eh? <laughs> That's a dangerous idea. A dark hero. That's what that that's the impression I get from him. I'm telling y'all. He's not like a bad guy. Like he's out here like do, he's doing things, but like it seems like he wants something good. Oh my god, they're meeting y'all. I literally been saying I went to see Joker. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, 
He looks so unamused. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need to know more of his story. I need to know Benny's story. Like, I need to know it. Please. <laughs> Several years earlier. <gasps> oh! Oh! Uh -uh. Inferno. He was the first So they both want to be heroes, him and Shinra. He's the dark hero, though. He does things a bit dirty, I guess. He's like that hero that's not perfect. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to be perfect, but he is about the end result. While Shinra is trying to save everybody. He's like that typical hero, typical MC. Like, you know, everything has to be harmless <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> Honestly, three years? Oh my god, this guy is like not. Ah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> He's like not bad or anything. He's just freaking cray cray, low key. <laughs> it's like a dog <laughs> or like a cat. That's how my cat my cat gets out. I'm like, eh, he'll get hungry, he'll come back. <laughs> oh, trouble is what he will stir. <laughs> stir it up! Am I really witnessing these two working together right now? Oh <laughs> guys, this is amazing! Right? <laughs> He's like, I'd rather keep an eye on you. And can, <laughs> and can just stomp you. <laughs> he tries to start something, I'll like, just stomp you, he says. Oh, you're so pretty. Him and Victor, this is why they're a team or whatever. Yeah, this is why Victor was like, we'll get him, yeah! Something sketchy like that, why do they ever always keep scriptures? Is it for like the future people in the Empire to always know what's up? Cause they could just pass it word of mouth, but Cause y'all needed that moment on top of the building. <laughs> <laughs> you need that moment, you know, looking down or like whatever on the top of the building. It's important, Benny. It's essential to the situation, to the heroism or the villainism, either way it works. Okay, I noticed that. I'm like, wait, they're just gliding. I guess that's what they did. They're like... Oh. 
Cause he go you up, honey, honey, honey. Is that him? Oh! <laughs> oh my God, yo, I'm such a fan. It's too much. It's too much. He's shaking up your building. <laughs> now everybody pissed themselves. What you mean? <laughs> Stop that man. Ah, when he does the sleeve thing, I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Like, yo, you don't understand how I'm getting both of these together right now in this situation. Like, yo, oh my god, y'all don't understand. <laughs> I'm fanning hard right now. Is he gonna say something? <laughs> At the only time. He has a sense. <gasps> Your voice. Oh. No, Lara, your mind will not go in that direction. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if some of y'all out there can relate, but... Oh no, stop. <laughs> Oh my god, what actually made him react that way? What? Stop. What did he just do? What? No! He's just so- Well, okay, I don't expect him to like panic, but like- What the heck did you just do? Oh my god, what just happened to my mans? What? What do you mean lame? Oh my god, he is not lame, okay? You didn't even see what happened. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay, no, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see at all the preview for this one. Y'all, this episode was actually such a treat for me. <laughs> I'm such a fan of these two characters. Like, I just love them so much. They really intrigue me and, like, you know, Joker and his voice and Benny and his him. Just these two characters, I did not expect to... I think the opening kind of showed an interaction between them. Honestly, I have not looked at the opening since, like, earlier on um because i just kind of wanted to forget anything i saw in it like i don't know i just stopped watching it but i think there was a scene that incorporated these two i don't remember if they were fighting or like anyways i don't recall what was going on i think there may have been a scene with them interacting but nonetheless i did not at least right now like i just didn't expect to get these two interacting in this way and it's so damn satisfying like that really just made my day um, however, what just happened is really, really scary and stuff because this guy like went and did like a choop, like I don't know what he just did, but it freaking knocked out Benny Matter. Like that's not okay. That's sketchy. That's dangerous. Like what do you mean? So I really want to know what that did to him. Like was it like a, was it really just a knockout or like, I don't know, like what happened to him? With that being said, I need to also know how Joker is going to handle this situation. If he's going to, like, have to protect Benny Matter or, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how he's going to handle that, what just happened. I'm sure it's just some sort of trickery that probably wouldn't work unless you catch the person off guard. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure if Benny Matter, like, 
no like then it won't happen again i'm sure you know what i'm saying yeah so i mean that had an in, like a very unexpected turn also in the sense that the two directly getting in on the soul temple are actually like not main characters they're like side characters they're like side main characters they're like they're relevant important significant side characters they're not part of the eight they're not like main characters so it's interesting to see them infiltrating and now they're kind of just like focusing on them for a little bit i wonder if there's going to be any involvement from the eight with what's going on right now um and i don't know i'm just yeah that was a really good situation thing that they kind of started right here and i'm very intrigued by it so leave how y'all feel down below no spoilers uh thanks for watching and i'll see y'all again soon so thank you so much and bye